You're now entering Joe's Bizarre Adventure. Last time, we I think up... Joey makes a lot of this shit up. <laughs> Last time, you guys fought a dragon. Wait, wait. Punched wait. in the asshole. Nah, you guys, uh... You guys don't remember that? <laughs> we beat we beat the little boy. Yeah, you beat Ooh. the... Ooh. Oh, we, we beat the evil little boy. Okay, the, the well... <laughs> there we go. Who, uh... It's not bad. Baffling, who... Lost his ass on, you know, a poker game. Yeah. That you guys cheated throughout the entire Everybody game. cheated, Joe. You said that, so. Yeah. Or at least, uh, Guardo said. You said the point of the game was to not get caught. At least yeah. Eduardo said so. And, uh... <clears throat> And then we beat him, and, and then, then he, you then you chased him down a flight of stairs, and then beat his ass in front of his own man. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then robbed him. Oh, we didn't rob him. He he had to. Then the necklace turned out to be this big ass like, what was it, Joey? That was a giant pendant. Yeah. It was about a good one foot of just solid uh, crystal. Shit. And then we got surrounded by darkness. Yeah. And. Right now, you all are currently chilling out in a massive cloud of darkness. As um, <clears throat> as we're chilling out, I look over at uh, Ezekiel. I'm like, did you do it this time? You can't see him. Okay, I look over at where I remember him being, and I say, like, "Is that you this time, Ezekiel?" And as you start to speak. It sounds like it's just a large, loud, echoey sound. Like, like an echoey like, void? Like, the, yeah, like an echoey void. Is that you, me. Ezekiel? 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 Yeah. I, is, uh, is that you making fun of me? Fun of me? Stop it, stop it. You don't hear any of this. I don't, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in my little way. Well, I guess if I'm in here alone, alone, alone. I'm gonna play with my dick. Okay, well, he's playing with his dick. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sitting here... And uh, I, I I'm, I'm scared, right? Would you quit? I can hear them playing with themselves, but I can't hear them talk. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically enough, that's the sound that echoes throughout the entire game. <laughs> <of the play. laughs> All right, uh, that's good. Hey, don't touch my thing. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, in my little void, mm-hmm. I'm getting scared. So I, to calm myself down. I create with minor illusion my Hydra Killer chain. And as you do, yeah. your magic starts to fade. Yeah. And just disappear. Well, if I can't beat them, join them. <laughs> I pull out my dick and I start playing with myself. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to make the noise too, but. And, uh. After All right. about. <laughs> oh! After a few moments, the oh. dark cloud rolls through and the magic of it fades away. And Of course, my pants are pulled up at this point. I already finished. So. I just started, so like, it's kind of <laughs> awkward for me. And you look around to see it's you two just standing in the middle of the arena with a half light. The arena? I really hope nobody saw me jerk off right then. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I pull my pants up and I pretend like I go. I, I, I um my button on came undone and I zip my pants up. <laughs> my suspenders broke. That's a joke, man. The, the, some some homeless guy who you worked with was ass was out. And was like, he actually homeless? I don't think no. He's not homeless, but okay. he looks homeless. I would have felt bad. You might want to explain the story real quick. So there was a guy we worked with. You probably knew him too. His name was Brent. He worked the meat wall or whatever. Oh, the dairy yeah. wall. Dairy wall. You know you know who we're talking about. Talk like this. Yeah. Well, I come in the bathroom, swear to God. I walk in the bathroom. This dude is... Oh, he wears overalls every day. Yeah. His overalls are around his ankles. He's bare-ass squatting in the middle of the floor. Me and him had had beef. We had beef. Like, for a couple weeks at that point. I don't even remember why. I think he heard me call him an idiot. <laughs> Probably That'll something. do it. That'll start speech usually. Probably something like Um, But he jumped up so quick and pulled his overalls up over his shoulder. She said, my, my suspenders broke. He's up next to the sink, too. Yeah, he's next to the sink. He's put the shit in the middle of the fucking floor. And I just... <laughs> 
I laughed and walked right by him. Like, I just like, oh, that was yeah. funny. I think he had to shit so bad or he would have probably yelled at him. There was no... Yeah, I had to take a dump. That's yeah. why I walked right by him. But there was, like, nobody in there. And he was about to take a shit in the middle of the floor. That's... Like, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what made it funny. I was like, you that's got caught. I, that's why I don't fucking shop at Walmart. Because even the employees are so nasty. I know. He is nasty. But it was, it was perfect. I was like, I didn't even care because I had to take a shit so bad. But I was I laughing. Sound like fucking Steve Urkel. Did I do that? Somebody steps in this shit. He he went running out of the bathroom uh, and didn't actually shit in the floor, but it was oh uh, it was perfect. All right, all right, all right. So we're in the arena it, you with the little boy. You all are at the at the little docks after the. Uh, we're at the docks or the arena. You're at the docks. Okay, so we're still same place. Yeah, you're still in the same spot. You're not upstairs okay. in the coliseum. You're are all the men and our crew's gone. Uh, all the men and his crew were still against the side with Sam. Oh, so the air, oh, the groom and... Yeah, you made it sound like it was just the three of us. Yeah. That was be- Let me finish narrating okay, before you guys okay, start, we're, we're fucking start it up. saying shit. All right, sorry. Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, so you all are still the dogs in the little battle area that you all were fighting in yeah. beforehand. Same spot you were. Uh, is that, wait, question. Is Aguardo still there? You don't see him. Motherfucker. I look at Keyshawn and I'm like, fucking Aguardo. I, I haven't liked him since probably the poker episode. Yeah. Groon's missing as well. <gasps> I grab Keyshawn by the shirt. Groon's missing. I look at Boom and I'm like, <clears throat> can you, uh, <laughs> can you calm down just a little bit? Get back. Pick up off me. Alright, sorry. I'm enjoying these donuts. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It's so, a little little thing I invented. It's I think donuts was before I think it's before his time. He didn't invent donuts. He you can't. guys have been talking about like zippers and shit. Oh and, like middle age. Well zippers some I invented. If he gets uh, uh, But <laughs> I invented the donut. <clears throat> I don't know what you're <laughs> I think Worst adventures ever, inventors of some crazy shit. Let's hope they live long enough for other people to know about them. Okay. I grab his notebook and I start drawing boobies everywhere, all over it. And Except it's like uh, women taking penises and like riding them. I'm like, this is called porn. <laughs> uh, boobs, like man. I want. Uh, go, uh, Boop's not as angry as he should be, because he's. He's like, gonna use it later. Yeah. <laughs> but I put my notebook up. I take it from you yeah, after you're done. All right. The pages are slightly moist. You just like. All right, Joey. So what's happening here? So, right now, uh, you see the halfling who's lying on the ground. Like uh, we whipped his ass, right? He's still beat up. Uh, from what you can tell, there's a large pool of blood under. Oh shit, he's done. Back to foil. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but yeah. so, uh, so we jump out the cannon thing. You, you you both manage to shimmy out of the cannon wall and you repel your way down. Yeah. With, roll me a stealth check just to see if anybody sees you guys do this. Eight. Eighteen and. Oh, he got an eight. I got eleven. Yeah, I don't know where you he heard eighteen. I said eight. Oh, I thought the white dice was what you rolled. But no, he rolled the. No, he rolled the. Uh, All right. So, as you repel your way down, semi gracefully, some people notice. I wave at him. <laughs> hey, hi. I go howdy, neighbor. <laughs> I go. I don't yell at him. I just oh hi. You hear one and go hey. What the fuck you doing down there? Trying not to die. Die? Were you in the boat? Yeah. You gotta get the fuck out of here. We're gonna blow it up. That's what we're doing. No now. shit. Like you're stalling us right now. <laughs> I climb up the dock, the ladder, to get back on the docks. All right. So you hit the water and yeah. you swim to the ladder to the dock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ba booms like I don't think cool guys don't look at explosions. Uh, they swim away at a regular speed. Uh, they, you see them like push against the boat and have it like drift out. Why are you blowing this boat up? Can't have it here, can we? I look over. Is the the little boy and Sam? I bet still there was there? good shit on uh, the boat too. The, ha- 
The you you threw him in the water. No, no, not the the little boy's crew and Sam. Are they still over there? They're motion, still standing. Motionless. There. Motionless. Okay, I want to take this opportunity to run over and kick one in the back of the balls. All right, as you do, uh, roll me an attack. <coughs> you better kick them hard. Eighteen. Awesome. Roll me a d4. D4. Okay. Mm-hmm. Two. Two? Uh, you suffer three points a day. What? <laughs> what? As you take your foot and you slam it into his balls as hard as you can. Mm-hmm. Feeling kind of... That was the 18. Happy. I still got it. <laughs> kind of happy with it. You realize you kicked solid stone. Oh. Did, did, the, did he crack at least? That would Something. be fucking hilarious. Because then when he woke up, he'd have a crack in his nuts. But he went... Oh my god! Then he died. Cause right. blood would shoot out. Does Keyshawn witness me kicking him? Yeah. In the, okay, I'm like, okay, as I'm screaming in pain, I, I first I push the guy over. Uh, as you push him over, the statue itself just falls and the head snaps off. I like revenge on you, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I think they turned to stone. I look at him like, no shit. What's well, this your catchphrase for today? <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh. I, uh, I pee on one of them. Okay, we're doing stupid shit. Look, can we investigate, like, see if we're. With <laughs> you have Look, my character's gotta avoid his bells. Okay. And if he decides to do it on a statue, I mean, more power to him. As, well, as he's pissed, as he's pissing. Hey, when like, I pee on him, does he, like, does he, like, just get destroyed? No. He's already, he's already destroyed. I'm not peeing on okay. that one. There's, uh, he said the whole crew. Oh, you're pissing on all of them. I'm just pee- yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> Sam, don't piss on Sam. Obviously not Sam. All right, I look at over one. I of the, pee the in crew Sam's guys. mouth a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. I, I look at the crew guys. I'm like, have you seen? Uh, oh, can they turn to regular humans? They're gonna hate George. that. I, I look at them. I'm like, have you seen a guy with a big ass long uh, diamond necklace pendulant thing? What's it called, Keyshawn? Well, first of all, it was in a special bag that would have made it impossible to see what we were talking about. Yeah, have you seen that Have bag? you seen an idiot walking around with a gigantic... What's that fucking thing called? Minotaur? Minotaur. Uh, <coughs> the idiot might look a little bit like him. I said, no, I'm right here, stupid. And then I looked back at them, and I'm like... Yeah, have you seen a minotaur and then a guy? Uh, not to be rude or anything, but we see lots of minotaurs and guys. They kind of like are employed here. These two specifically look like they probably Actually, fucked I pull up, I pull up my sketchbook and I have. A He's sketch. just like, oh, okay. I yeah. pull up my sketchbook and I have a sketch of Groon. I'm like, have you seen this minotaur? Seen one, seen them all. <laughs> no, actually, I haven't seen that guy at all. Huh. That's weird. Can I, uh, Joey, can I investigate and look for clues? Uh, you want to do a general investigation of the area? I mean, yes. What are you looking for? I'm looking for any clue of where they could have gone. Alright, yeah, sure. Eleven. Eleven? Plus what? Plus your investigation? My investigation is under... Is that wisdom? Uh, investigation is looks like little intelligence. Fucking five there. Yeah, I got a fucking five of that. Ah, so yeah, so that's uh sixty. Sixteen. Bit. As you uh, glance around and oops, got some intensity in his eyes. He's like flipping over stone. He's checking every rock. He is doing everything he can, and he stops and he goes. As Boo looks down. Motions to you, and you both see trail two footprints heading off into the direction. Of the but as I see the uh, footprints, I go jinkies! I found something. Okay, now go ahead. <laughs> heading off into the direction of what? Heading off into the direction of the cavern, almost as if heading back. Oh. I'm like, well, I guess I know where we're going. Nope. <laughs> I just walk around. 
just walk around. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the outside way I'm and walk back up. You're gonna swim around the. I'm like Keyshawn. Keyshawn, we gotta do it. Fine, <sighs> let's go back up so we can have normal sleep again. All right, we go back up. All right, as you uh, make your way back up, you uh, we're following the trail, continuing on through. Like, Boop's still hot on this trail. He fucking sees it. He knows where he's going. He has a nose for this. His dick is on the ground. It is dragging me on. He knows where he's going. I'm on his ass. That's why I punched him in the face twice. I mean, I'm getting sick of his shit. Roll the d20 in. For uh, investigation. One more time. Damn, I'm getting, like, low rolls. I got a nine, but that's, like, what, plus five? So, 14? Yeah. yeah. I got a six plus... This doesn't say... Uh, it's intelligence, and you can slide over one, and it'll give you your investigation list. Ooh. Oh, I got a plus three to investigation. Yeah. Nine. So, you you notice what Boop's talking about. You yeah, you're, s- down, you're, like, you're smelling what I'm... It's not the fart you just made, <coughs> but you're smelling the clues here. Well, I'm, I have this new, the super sniffer, so... Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, man, let's do this. But you, you know where it's heading. It's heading up. It's heading up high. It's not heading towards the casino. It's heading higher than the casino. Shit. As you continue to, to heaven, <coughs> as, you, as you continue <laughs> to make your way around each right. of the chambers, the corridors, you make your way back up to the little bar area that you all were in beforehand, and. I'm just like, oh, wait, this motherfucker knew a secret passage the Which, whole time. Is this the bar where we fought that blob monster? Yeah. Fuck, I hate this place. We're here a whole episode. Yeah. All right. You uh, notice that there's a little, like, wall that the steps just kind of hit. I whispered to Keyshawn, I'm like, we're going to get one chance at this. We're going to kick this wall down, pretend we're like, hey, freeze, motherfucker. I looked for like a secret um, stone or something. They got pushed into perception. Yeah. God dang it! I look too, and I want to use because I'm a detective, so I want to roll two. I got a plus three though, <sighs> so it was a seven. I got a five. Hey, let's trade dice. I'm gonna keep looking. Uh, as you. <coughs> God damn it, <coughs> Jody! For... Give me another <coughs> dice. For Randy's sake. We're just like slapping the walls. Where is it? <coughs> it? <coughs> you all. If we went with my idea, it would have been cooler. For Remedy's sake, you all know where the door must be. Looking at the steps and how they're placed. And who's a big guy? It's easy to tell how much room you needed for him to get through. And you feel around the edges of it. <coughs> Relatively. Five minutes, ten minutes, twenty, and you hear the doors and the walls start to shake as the passageway raises up. And then when it rises up, it goes, Freeze, motherfucker! Yeah, we were gonna kick that wall down, <laughs> the one that raised up into the ceiling. Alright, alright, I guess uh, I go in. You follow that would have broke my foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fall. Alright. Like kicking stone balls. We had in. Ah, yeah, that was stupid. Ah, this was really stupid. I look at you, I'm like, I'm gonna start slamming your head into this wall. Alright. We head in. Alright. Um, upon entering into this little room, there's. It's Do we have a, anything I can roll on? It's not a, uh. It's not a thin room. It's not. Yeah. It's small and there's a little ladder that we need to come. Okay. Uh mm-hmm. hold on. <coughs> what, are you, what are you doing? For rolling. Oh rolls. okay. Right, let's get situated. There. Where the D20s go? Right there. Okay. Right, 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 right there. There. So uh, climb up the ladder. You're gonna climb the ladder. Yeah. As you. Uh, Bo- boobs, boobs on their ass. Huh? Boobs, like I'm gonna kick. Yeah, you know we just tried to open this door for 20 minutes, right? 
<laughs> well, after that, that's when, we, we were killing it. We kind of had a little step back with the door, but now we're killing it again. Let's go. Yeah, it's funny, though. It's like, we're killing it. All we did was climb some stairs. <laughs> then we <laughs> got to a door. Boo, boo, boo. How do we open it? Boob, uh, boob looks intense as he... Well, he has a song playing in his head that's badass. I just imagine the door felt bad for us, so... You know what? <laughs> so these guys are poem. <coughs> yeah, what, what you don't know is the door was truly your greatest nemesis. <laughs> no, it was really... It's the final boss right there. All right. We gotta go back to fight the door. Alright, let's go. But as you, uh... You make your way up to the top of it, and you see a little latch, and light seems to be gleaming down onto it. Right, I look I push at, up. I look at, I look at a boob, and I say... Look, boob. I look. Like. Oh, I look. Who's in front? I'm up top because I I rushed in. I, I look down at him. I go, okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna let this up and we're gonna jump up and go, freeze, motherfucker. Got it? Yeah. Okay. I, I give him a thumbs up. I, I push the latch up and I jump up and go, freeze, motherfucker. As you start to push against the latch, <laughs> it's not moving. Oh well, I look. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm like, <laughs> you uh, shouted, freeze, motherfucker, for no reason. It you walk. He said, Mother, <coughs> I tried to open it. I look at him and say, hey, boob. You can mage hand that shit. I know. I'm going to mage hand that shit and see if I can, like, unlock it from top. Oh, all right. So you're going to cast mage hand. And then, like, see if there's, like, a latch and, on and top I can unlock you're it. you're going to... All right. And then look down at uh, Keyshawn like, if I fall, catch me, please. <laughs> All right. I give him a thumbs up. Sure. As I have full confidence in him, I'm going to do the mage hand now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you you successfully cast your mage hand. Oh, thank God. It's right beside you. I'm like, no, stupid, up there. <laughs> and it's like I have it hit the... Re- remembering that mage hand can cast it within your line of sight. Yeah, but he can <clears throat> look through the little... Thing of the light. Yeah, he can, he can try and squeeze his mage hand through the little thing of light. All right, yeah, you manage to do all that. You get the mage hand up top, and it's now currently just sitting on top. I'm like, all right, now unlock this. It, it's it's locked. I knock on the latch. I'm like, hello. I knock on. Does anybody open it? No. Oh it fuck. It. You remember that time you're like a. Uh, Remember, Expert at this? Yeah, remember that stuff? time? Oh, that you fuck. Had, like, <laughs> I, I'm a thief. I, I fought my lot of picking tools. Oh, I was like, I'm really going to have to kick this fucking door open because he doesn't know he can unlock it. Honest to God, I have my Thunder Wave thing put up and I was going to Thunder Wave it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my. You would have flew all the way down those stairs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use. Because I wouldn't have got him. <laughs> I was gonna use my luck. He had climbed all the way back up. I'd be like, oh, no. oh hey, buddy, you no, good? You, you guys been climbing for like five or ten minutes. Oh, Jesus, man. I would have just been dead. You, you all are a good, like, 40 feet off. Huh? I just imagine he rolls all the way down those stairs. And with a huge ladder of steps. I, 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 uh, there's nothing but a pile of blood and bones at the end of it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm using my lock picking skills, which I'm very good at. <laughs> That'd be the funniest way for somebody to die in D&D. Falls down 40 flights of stairs. 14. 14. Plus. What would that be a plus to? Like my your, dexterity? It would be your dexterity modifier. Plus 3. Plus whatever your proficiency is with your lockpick tool. Okay. Which I believe it isn't, but... Uh, you manage to finagle the lock very easily. Uh, uh, you then remember that... I think this is a double proficiency with skills. Like, I yeah. guess that would be it, right? So uh, that would be like double proficiency plus six. with skills is your stealth. Oh. And your... Anything that you have like a plus six of right now. Oh, okay. So, just, so it would just be a 17. Yeah, like oh. your sleight of hand's a plus seven. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so 17 does it unlock. Oh, yeah. You managed to finagle it and you hear a quick bolt. Okay, I look back down at Keyshawn. I'm like, alright, throwing it open. Freeze, motherfucker. Got it? I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> I throw the latch open. I jump and, and go, freeze, motherfucker. As you throw the latch up, you see a mystic vapor 
cascade away from the door. I'm like, they're vaping in here. Oh, I climb up top. I was going to say, as your mage hand dissipates from the force of you hitting it with the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought they were vaping. All right. I climb up, and I and Ke- I guess Keyshawn climbs up. I'm cool. down there, still giving a thumbs up. All right. <laughs> you got this, buddy. Uh, as I, I, I look around, I have like a, my fingers and a, like, kind of look like a gun. And I'm like looking around like a cop. Like, what do I see? You see what appears to be lots and lots of jungle. As Did you, you say a jungle? As you look down, you are currently sitting on top of a very large, like, high up hill area. And you can glance around and you see the little town and the dock and the port off in the distance to your left. And behind it is lush vegetation, just green as far as the eye can see, surrounded by water. I look down, I'm like, you ain't gonna believe this shit. I'll climb up <coughs> up there. Alright, he climbs up too. Yeah. I look at him, I say, yeah, well, you know, All right. happens. So, uh, this is the <laughs> investigation episode. So <laughs> I guess I'm going to look around for more footprints. Alright. Seven plus, what was it, five? five? So that's 12. You want to roll? Yes. Oh, that's 13, my bad. 14. 17. Alright. Because I got plus three to investigation. As, as you are glancing around, just trying to get a grasp of what's going on, your, your keen eyes are focusing <coughs> in on the jungle. Kishan, you just kind of turn around and see oh look they're there <laughs> you, you turn around and see a very large stone temple and there's no real footprints leading to it but you have a feeling it's probably where they would go like I said investigation not <coughs> insight <laughs> I mean I do have a plus three to insight All too right. so I, 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 then I look at Keyshawn I'm like hey let's run in that temple and go Freeze, motherfucker. So I point out that there's a temple over there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there. Oh, yeah. Over there, probably. I was like, yeah, okay, we're going to rush in and go, freeze, motherfucker, when we go in here, all right? I'm giving my thumbs up. I'm like, sounds good. All right. We, I rush in. All right. I, like, walk just casually. I, I slow down so he can catch up. As <laughs> as you both make it to, uh, to the door, it's, the temple's run down. I'm not in any hurry to fight fucking... It's, yeah. Groot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I want that necklace back. I'm just worried they're going to escape. Yeah, it's it's not a very beautiful temple on the outside. But upon entering in, it's gorgeous. Holy the shit. The floors are polished. Dude. It's white marble everywhere. How much do you think the janitors get paid? I don't know, but I want to fuck a girl on this floor. It's it's immaculate. Just even I could eat off of it. I, I bend over and I start smelling the floor. It smells like pine saw. Oh, no. oh my god! We look for the it's, janitor and try to like thank him. Fresh fruits and raspberries. Hey Joey. Oh my god! Do I see the maintenance guy anywhere? You I think should... I'll get in trouble if I rub my balls <clears throat> on this? No, I mean you might get like some kind of weird ancient booby trap. But I look at. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say I look at Joey. I was like, he's not here. Joey, uh, <laughs> is there a maintenance guy I could find to thank? Uh, you can look around. Do I, okay, I wanna. Roll a seven. Plus I'm also gonna roll. Uh, use do a perception. Okay. Or or you guys can let me finish. Like. All right, go ahead. Eighteen. Yeah. I, <laughs> I rolled an eighteen. Just right, say. Do, do we right. see a janitor anywhere? No, there is no janitor. Okay. There are large white pillars in columns raising up, and they seem to be holding what you thought at first was a roof, but as you look at it, it's just a beautiful blue sky. Whoa. Is it holding up the sky or is it just the sky up there? It looks like it looks like that moment in Harry Potter when the kids are in the dining room and they woke up and there's the sky. It's that. Yeah, no, I don't watch Harry Potter. Okay, well should we shoot it and see if there's anything there? Go ahead. Alright. Go, go ahead. I pull up my crossbow and I try to shoot the sky. As you fire the arrow up, it doesn't make contact with anything. It just keeps going and going. Flies out of the fucking and then, what I, is the damage on your arrow? Uh, well, <laughs> he didn't say he shot it straight up, bam. <laughs> I imagine it's not gonna. I imagine he shot it at uh, an what, angle. What the, My the, 
you know, falls down into some random guy outside. Yeah, yeah. like, oh my god, it's the janitor! You shot the fucking janitor! No, that precious baby! He's such a good ass. Okay. He had the hands of an angel. Alright, uh, my short bow is uh, plus 5, 1d6, plus 3. Alright. Gonna it dodge. Magically enchanted or anything. No. Alright. Gonna dodge. Okay. So, <coughs> so it keeps going. It, 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 it just keeps going. I look at my uh, my short crossbow <laughs> and I'm like, or my short bow. Sorry, it's a short bow. I look down at my short bow. I'm like, damn, this thing got good. <laughs> no. I put it up. I was like, I don't know. Looks like you still can't hit anything. <laughs> I was gonna hit some eventually. You, you hear a small. Clinking noise in the distance. I think some like uh, some of the natives are coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that was probably your arrow hitting the ground. Oh yeah, okay. All right, uh, I guess do it. Natives, we're on the same <laughs> island we've been on. I, well, we're Why are you grab my? This is mine. All right, so I, I do an investigation, look for anybody, look oh, for any clues. As you, I, I can tell you right now, All as right. you're looking around, there's a Small flight of stairs. I thought you were going to say Groon and Aguardo were sitting there smoking in the corner. Like, uh, fucking high there's shit. There's a small flight of stairs that lead a little bit higher, and as you start to glance, you see two stone statues. Just kind of They stone. look mean looking? They look really mean looking. Fuck. Fuck. I, I look at him and say, We're going to fight them. Don't you fucking do it. Don't do what? Don't you fucking do them all. I'm not. Okay, I want to tiptoe past them up the stairs. Right, as you you want to tiptoe with me? I'm going to, like, get some donuts ready for them, just, like, as a gesture of goodwill. As you both kind of start marching your way up there. One no, no, tiptoe, not march, Joey. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> done, done. Roll me a stealth. Fuck. <laughs> what was eight. that? Eight. No, that was not eight. Let me see that. Nope. Sixteen. Plus one. Seventeen. Seven plus my amazing stealth, which plus five, right? Oh, what is your You can use uncanny index? stealth, can't you? Huh? We said he can five, use yeah. uncanny stealth, right? No, it's uncanny dodge. Oh, yeah. No, no. no, no, no. Well, I still already got a 7. That's like, what was that, like a plus 5 to it? Yeah, so that's 13. I got a 17. Yeah. Uh, both rolls don't matter. <laughs> oh. As you make your way up. Um, oh, there, gee, you, thanks, Joey. <laughs> you notice the statues are statues. Thank God. They look very familiar, but they're statues. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do they look like? Was it was a very large minotaur and a small-ish half orc? Well, they're statues. Oh fuck! And, and I, I stop and I grab them. I'm like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But that's Grun and fucking Eduardo. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, are they statue statues? Like I. I tap. Hey, kick one of them in the nuts. <laughs> I tap the Aguardo statue, see if it's real stone or if they're just like wearing makeup like a ghost. As you tap it, it feels solid. Does it, does he have the uh, bag on him? Uh, you're glancing around at him and you don't see a bag anywhere on the statue itself. Fuck. I look at, uh, I walk over, I don't touch, but I look at uh, Groom's stone dick. All right. I look at Sean, I'm, I'm I look like, at like, Boob, and I'm like, hey, man, this might be the only chance to get to make out with him. I'm not going to make out with him. i just like, this is probably my only chance without being uncomfortable to look at his dick. I mean, like, it's legendary, and I just like, you know. All right, Joey. Hold on. What the fuck are you doing? Listen, then do you talk about somebody's dick? No, it's Groom's dick. All right, Joey, what do I see? Shall oh, I you see his dick, obviously. You, you, you see what appears to be a very large... And very, very large third leg. I uh, I take my time. Have you ever seen Titanic? Yeah. You know that scene where he's like drawing her? Yeah. I do one of those. And then I like when I get done, I'm like, I uh, put it back in my bag. And I'm like, I look at Keyshawn. I'm like, let's get serious. Let's find this motherfucker. I look at Sean. I look at uh, Boob. And I'm like, so uh, do you just invent some porn too? Yeah. It's a sketch, not porn. Save for later. No, this is just for mm, like. Save for later. History, All right, let's go. This is for the history books. This is, this is that argument of like Fifty Shades Grey is in like smut. It's it's art. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going up the stairs, and then like as we're going up the stairs, I'm like, "All right, we're gonna go up here and go freeze, motherfucker." 
Alright, as you will... Uh, does he, wait, wait, wait. I go running into the room without him and you'll freeze, motherfucker. No! <laughs> he better not be up there. And I run up after him. <laughs> as you both haul ass on multiple flights. <coughs> oh, God. Upstairs, each one uh, raising higher and higher. You... <coughs> when I get in there, my... Freeze. Freeze. <laughs> you, you both have to stop. Uh, and realize the stairs are still going. And as you uh, glance back down, you've only gone up like 12 flights. He just Mario 64'd us. Let's go back down. There's I don't know how to do that. All right, I go back down. I try to do that Mario jump glitch where um, I, get, I attempt that. Shall I, you, <laughs> so I try to do the Mario jump so glitch. So you're going to try and like jump and roll up to it? And no, you know what? I'm, I already lost three hit points, I think. Trying, being, can I do I have like a, a banana? Like can I just drop a banana where he's about to roll? You, <laughs> but as you're digging through your bag and stuff, you find little vials of basilisk blood, a few potions, and a potion of uh, giant strength. <laughs> I'm like, don't need that. Keep walking upstairs. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, did, I, I start walking instead of running because yeah. at this point I'm just like, this is fucking You're stupid. Watching him, you, you see him just do car rolls and twirls and flips and it Whoop. looks as though he's landing on the Whoop. same step. Yippee! Yeah. <laughs> each, each, each time, he's just hitting the same step that you're on. And as you... I'm going look, up though, right? No. And, we're as about you look, up. you've made a little bit more leeway, but you're not going up. You're still in the same general area. I go back down the stairs, uh, and I'm like, I, I, I kind of like lay down on the ground. I'm like, holy! So fuck. the stairs are moving. Uh, I roll for perception, real quick. Can uh, one <laughs> these stairs aren't All right, moving. Joey. Oh my god! It is the first escalator, and it's actually an escalator that is pushing you down, and it's doing it at you know. Brink of destruction point from Final Destination, where the girl gets caught in it. And meet oh, so now I'm just. <laughs> All right, no. that's just the one. That's what you think. I think anyway. I can I investigate for magic. You want to? You want to do an arcane check? Now? Yes. All right. Uh, roll me an arcane check. Detect magic. Four. Yeah, you have detect magic, don't you? Yeah. Hey, I was thinking that. I was like, he has that as a spell. All right. Do I? Let me look. No, you don't. No, I don't. No. <coughs> you that would have been a very useful magic. one. I should have. Yeah. Very useful. Well, I think that'd be my next spell. I get you. You whenever feel, the fuck we level up. You, you feel <laughs> a minor arcane enchantment. Okay. Very very vague. It can only be broken by being pissed on. But you feel it throughout the entirety of this place. This entire place. All right. By the way, how much further have I made it up these stairs? You're on the same step, probably. You're on the 15th step. Oh, shit. How, how far did I get? 12. Oh. I, uh, I keep going, by the way. Right. Walk cam, walk cam. I look for another way up. All right, as you glance around the rest of the room, you see where the steps are cut into the column. There's a little back alleyway to it that hits to the wall. Giving you an indication that these steps aren't really that high up. Yeah. I look over at Sean, I'm like, I'm gonna have calf muscles of steel when I'm done with these stairs. And and back in both sides of these, there's a little room in each one. Carved into the wall, there's a little doorway. I go, uh, hey, Keith, Sean, I found a door. What? I turn around. I found a door. Well, lead the way, motherfucker. All right, so I go over, and I go over to the door. I see, is there like a doorknob, or is there like one it's, of those? It's a door. Is there open one? Of the, are they one of the, okay, I, I open it, but as I'm about to open it, I'm like, we're going to rush and go, freeze, motherfucker. You got it? I go to the other door, and I open the other door. I go behind them. I'm like, I'm not going to Freeze, kill. motherfucker. No! As, I run as, in like, no, 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 no. As you open the door and say, freeze, motherfucker, you open the door, and it looks like this was at one point a tavern. A bar. Huh. Is it, but there's stone statues. Does it look like the bar? I shut the door. Does it look like, huh, does it look well, like you're the, not going in there. Does it look like the bar we were in earlier? 
Uh, it looks similar to the but bar. You but it's a little different. At. It's much nicer. Oh, that definitely the, can't be it. The the stools are made of metal and what looks like animal hide. The lighting's immaculate. Even though Is there's there a s- dust on the tables, porcelain like marble colored like tabletops, it still has that smell of like. Sweet bread. I'm gonna look for good shit. Right. Yeah. Uh, is that is there like a bartender that's a statue? Uh, that you can tell there is a gentleman behind. Is he a lizard? No. Oh, because if it's that lizard guy, I was gonna go kill him. All right. I go behind the bar and look look down through all the uh, stuff. You see dusty bottles of. Fuck wine yes. And mead. Any good like. Super hardcore whiskeys or anything? Not that you can tell. <clears throat> well, they probably aged a fuck ton, so I'm gonna take some of this mead. All right. All right. I, 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 I look, look for weapons or anything cool. As you glance around the yeah. exterior of the room, there's more ornate weapons on the wall yeah. and shields that don't really look like they'll. Take so like decorative them. shit. Yeah, more decorative things. Okay. Do I see like any loot? Any boxes that's worth looking into? Uh, not really, but you hear a vague sound coming from what appears to be the, well, what you can assume to be the back kitchen area. I rush in and go, freeze, motherfucker! As you barge in, you see a robed figure. A robed figure? Hmm? I, I, then I look at Keyshawn. I look back at Keyshawn. Like, I got him. Freeze, walk, motherfucker. And I pull I'll my fingers to the gun. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. And you hear, ha. Uh, it'd be you two dumbasses, wouldn't it? On the ground, motherfucker. I'm serious. And as he turns around, you see a very large, very, very large person. Oh, fuck, it's the Orochi. Is it the Orochi? Mm-hmm. Is it in a robe? It's... I say it out loud and everything. Because they can turn people to stone. As he says it, th- that's the Orochi. The dragon thing? The thing that we didn't kill, that we should have killed, but we would never have been able to kill. Yeah. That thing. All right, well, I run out of the room. <laughs> it, it turns around, and it's human... Appearance, it's just very large. So, like, is it like a humanoid dragon mm-hmm. now? No, it's just a human. It's in its human form. Oh, I'll run back in. I'm like, freeze, motherfucker. And you're not I'm scary like, in a human form. Don't mind him. <laughs> He's, uh, he got hit in the head earlier. <laughs> and it just kind of sits there and laughs and goes, Welcome to my home away from home. Why are you all here? We're looking for this, uh, what's it called? This, the, the, oh my god, it's like the main item we've been looking for this whole campaign, and I can never remember the name. Do you know the name of it, Keyshawn? Uh, the Eye of something or other. The Eye of Beholder. Do you know where it is? Is that what it's called, really? <laughs> no, I doubt it. I think it was like the... Eye of the Storm. Yeah. Something, wasn't I, that, like something storm related. Mm-hmm. The eye of the. I imagine the guy knows what we're talking about. It's we're, the eye of the storm. Oh, that was yes, really what boop, I was Okay, boop, I was like, isn't that like the? But boop like boop, waves his shoulders around like we second. Do this try. conversation, like trying to figure out the name of it. He's just kind of confused. Like, uh, beholder, you don't want to mess with. Yeah. So anyway, do we have? Do you have the eye of the storm? Uh, no. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. You're magical, right? Can you like help us locate it? You want me to help you locate an item that I've never seen and you have no indication of? Sure, why not? Come on. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't think he was going to go for it. I look at him and I'm like, I feel like he could do it. He seems like... I mean... Cool guy. Sometimes when I'm walking around, I'm like, I good. swear to God, I can hear him talking in the back of my head, but it's probably just my... I I I, I, mm, I kind of like yeah. whisper to him. I'm like, I think Keyshawn has like a man crush on you. Mm. Uh-uh. I, you didn't hear I, like I, no, I, like I like lean in. I whisper in uh, uh, Boob's ear. I'm like, <laughs> so as he sits there and he kind of looks at you both and goes, "Well, it's here. 
Uh, oh shit! Thanks. That's convenient. Yeah, it's it's here. I just I I don't have it. Well, that's good because you wouldn't give it to us if we needed it. So no, I'd probably like use one of you as a I don't know two pick. So can, can where, where is it? Seems legit because we need it. Um, up the stairs. Oh, cool. Where, where, up there stairs. How come we can't get up these stairs? Magic. Can you help us get up those stairs? Sure, I can turn it off. That's no big deal. Uh, I thought. Hey, do you know what's in that other room over there? Oh yeah, yeah. That's the uh, that's the little armory. I run back over there. <laughs> As he runs, he over, said armory. As he runs over, I'm like, I'm glad that you turn. You could just turn them off because I thought we we're gonna collect so many stars before we can even go in here. And then I go in the armory with him. I'm like, come on, come on. And I like wave him with us. And I like, I grab his sleeve. I'm like, let's go. And I like, we walk Touch him. Over. He does not seem like as, the type of person you, he wants to be as touched. You just kind of start heading out towards the armory. He just kind of steps up onto the stairs and like snaps his fingers. And you see the cascade of the sky just turn off. And the room becomes once again a room and a ceiling, a ceiling once more. I'm like, oh, uh, also, one more thing. Can you turn a minotaur back to regular minotaur? Can you make him not stone? Yeah. And Sam. Don't forget Sam. Do you guys have basilisk blood? Huh. I'm like, huh. I do. What a convenience. Uh, wait, before we do that, let's go look in the armory. Because Grun can wait. Because uh, right. Grun will do all the good shit if we, go, if we let yeah, him. Yeah, but I'm already in this armory yeah. looking around. What, right, do, I what's the, what do I see? Fucking ones, man. Go so back to this. Uh, taking taking your time and glancing around. <laughs> You'll see you absolutely know, nothing. You will see a large array of old, kind of rusted over weapons. And Do we see anything that catches our eye? You see two or three things that can catch your eye. Aww. Don't look at me like that. I hate you both. Okay, sorry. Uh, the first one you see is a leather padded armor. It's not worn down. It's, it's not a very mild armor. I look over at Sean and say, Dibs. No, what the goddamn it. <laughs> uh, and a uh, pair of bracers. Okay, I get that. Since it's it's in the the armor. Is that part of the armor? Or? No, just separate. So, I, put, okay. I put the brace. And what's the other stuff? Yeah. What's the other thing? Uh, the other one is a looks like a ring almost. Grabbed it. Widow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as what I, are the? Bra- I look over. And we're like talking about. Like, what are the bracers do? I put them on. I go Wonder Woman. Yeah, That's I, a new thing I'm a bit working on. As as you apply them to yourself, you feel cold, immensely cold. Was it like hurting me? Like it's it's rather painful. And as you look down, your hands are starting to turn gray. I take them off. I'm like, you want to switch? <laughs> you want to switch? I'm like, oh, as you hang start on. to try and take them off. You can't. You want to switch? <laughs> you want to switch, <laughs> please? They are cursed. Please switch. Uh, roll me a d20. So. And the constitution. 11. Zero. So, that's an 11. Hmm. And as you are like, want to switch, want to switch, want to switch, your arms start to turn. You know, I run start. out. I run out to Basilisk. I'm like, hey, help me. Please. <laughs> And He's not a basilisk, by the way. As you start to like move towards the door, you notice your legs that turn to stone. It's slowly rising up to your neck. You have one last thing to say. Hooded boy, help me! <laughs> I can't remember his name. And with that, Boob is now turned to solid stone. Huh. I'm glad I didn't grab those. Damn. Should have grabbed those. So I put the other two in my bag, because I'm not putting them on. Very clearly not gonna happen. <clears throat> Go over to the Orochi and I'm like, so mm-hmm. ah, we fucked up. <laughs> we yeah. fucked up bad. Yeah, everybody being turned to stone here didn't give you some indication that you know you shouldn't touch things. Yeah. yeah. How come I didn't turn to stone? Oh, time uh, out. Just you, to clarify, I'm in a Wonder Woman pose as I turn to stone. Uh, you didn't. You haven't like. Put anything on or drink or ate anything here, have you? Oh, thank God. I got so much alcohol that. Wait, is this alcohol gonna make me turn to stone no matter what or where I drink it? Or is it just enchanted in here? 
You mm-hmm. want to step outside and give that a test? You're telling me I should leave the alcohol. It would make sense because you like wine and you haven't drank it. So I'm going to ditch this. <laughs> I start throwing it into the other room and you hear it bust. And then I stop and I'm like, I'm sorry, I forgot this was your summer home. So I start <laughs> tossing it like very gently in the other room. And I'm like, you know what, I'll just go sit it down. <laughs> I walk in there and I start sitting them down. And I come back out and I'm like, so uh, you said something about basilisk blood? Yeah, you can use basilisk blood in order to uh, cure petrification. And how much do you need? How much do you have? You have like three or four little vials full of it. Conveniently, three of us in here are trying to uh, stir. Three, four vials? There's one for Sam, too. He takes two of them from you and spits into them and shakes it and it turns a nice little blue color. And he hands it back mm. to you and he goes, There you go. Uh, that should cure two of them. Oh, damn. Boop, boop statue's looking at you like, I look, I look back at him and I said, and I grab a third one and I was like, do I have to choose two? And it's just like, well, and he takes that one from you, spits in it, shakes it, and he goes, I'll keep hold of this one. Puts it into a little bag. And then I, and then I grab the other one, I'm like, you just want this one as well, I mean, the, the, the fourth thing of black. He just, he just kind of looks at it and he goes, can't use that one. I look at him and say, sorry, Sam. <laughs> Sam was kind of a dick anyway. <laughs> no, just, just kidding. So, hmm, this is the hard part, isn't it? I imagine, I hope you're having a flashback of the time I shit in a pillowcase. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I look at him, I look at him, so. and then I look at Groon, and then I look at Boob, and then I look back at him, and I'm like, uh, So, right now, you have three people, and you can bring two of them with you. This is the final point in the story. Oh, fuck. I think this is a good place to end it. So, like a cliffhanger. Oh, my God. We're going to end it on a cliffhanger for next time. <laughs> and there's going to be no find out what's going to happen next time because it's a cliffhanger and you can't do that. So. Next time on D&D.